Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to hit the growing space weather alert for this week. Why it's a scary thing for some super fresh astronauts, there was another major quake. We'll hit the ocean collapse, and we've got two announcements in-house where we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Eruptive activity continues, both filaments and flares. The solar flares we expected are still firing, but staying low thus far. A significant concern is here as we're just about 11 months from the greatest solar storm in the last 20 years. And there's a massive sunspot in the exact same location as the one that lit up our planet nearly a year ago. Several spots, of course, but this lumbering leviathan on the south is gaining size and complexity by the hour right now, and she's staring down our planet square in another day or two. Eyes open for big eruptions. Top news beneath our feet comes from the Southern Pacific, another seven-pointer this week, this time in Tonga or rather just offshore. Luckily, this region expects this size of quake and can handle it better than most. Quick note about the coming SpaceX launch. They are sending four astronauts, including a crypto billionaire, into space on a polar orbit. And I'll tell you this, if we get major solar flares during this nearly week-long flight, the polar proton bombardment is going to go off the scale and these people could actually die. Polar position is by far the scariest place to be during such an event, and no human has ever been anywhere close to where they're going to be, where the magnetic fields carrying the high-energy proton radiation directly targets Earth's polar region, which is usually okay because no humans are way up there in the auroral zone. Let's hope the big sunspot stays quiet for their sakes. Up next, more confirmation that the collapsing AMOC is a big deal. We already know it can instantly reverse the warming trends on the planet and send us back into a cold state, and it's collapsing fast. Now, it appears that yes, it will indeed be linked with another Heinrich event, the hydroclimate shift right on the 6,000-year cycle mark. Getting a bit more specific, this team has done some preposterously complex math. I had to open a book I hadn't opened in nine years to check their work. But yeah, when they began to see those impacts of the AMOC collapse down as low as the 34th Southern Parallel, the collapse will occur. So far, we're seeing the deep effects as far south as the 26th North Parallel. And if it's that strong at depth, somebody better go check the surface waters in the southern tropics to see if it's creeping across the ITCZ region eyes open. Folks, some other special events coming at Observer Ranch. Full Quail Day coming on April 13th. If you want a real skill for surviving, come let us show you nuts to soup how to handle the preparation of these birds to feed you and your family. If you're planning to come out for the grand opening event, spots are filling fast and Dr. Robitaille's event and his two special dinner events are half sold out. Move quick. And by the way, we're dressing up big for those ones, folks. Lots of other events this summer. Check out ObserverRanch.com and you can now also book the cabins for stays later in the summer, folks. It is all coming together. And for those who get Observer Review, our e-magazine, we're doing Jupiter for the monthly special issue coming out in two days. Jupiter is the most changing planet in the ongoing solar system shift and breaking down its various changes is a key aspect of the cycle event. You can access all issues anytime when you subscribe to the e-magazine. Link below, all links below actually, the e-magazine, Observer Review, Observer Ranch, and much more. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.